Alright guys, I am going to attempt to show you guys my titanium setup. Uh, the only thing that needs to be put into this setup for it to work after the initial setup is the rutile, the carbon, and I can show you how that will not even need to be put in if you'd like. The calcite, the chlorine is a closed loop, so you won't ever have to worry about inputting chlorine. And carbon can be if you choose it to be, so all you will need to worry about is the calcite and the rutile. But let's start with explaining what you need for this setup. So I have. A ULV battery box with just one little battery in here hooked up to an automatic igniter ULV level on this igniter I will stick over here is a redstone switch just left default and stuck on there and then you stick that back in place then on the burning mixer there is a automatic an activity detector possible now if there was a pulse mode for this it would make this setup even better but for now uh, this is what I'm using. You can make a redstone line out to a pulser, um, but with the limited amount of space we have on the machine, I think this is just best for the moment at least. So then put that there. I usually use a solar panel up here um, that runs a ULV battery box. Uh, you can also hook it up through uh, cables or whatnot. Um, I have a tank extender on the top, which is facing the input. That is for the calcite, which is coming through this bronze cable. And the chlorine, which is coming through this plastic pipe. Now, remember, I said that's a closed loop. We'll get to that in a minute. On the back of the machine, I have a nanupal pipe, which is not connected to the smelter beside it, that is going up and down. And the there is a filter. I'm not going to take these off because it will mess it up. But basically one of these fluid filters here. Um, I have it on that pipe. Which all you have to do to set the pipe or to set the filter is click on it like that. Get the fluid you want into a drum. Click it on there with a right click. And that will set the filter to what you want it set to. I will be making a video about those very soon. So check that out if you don't quite understand. Um, anyways, the Nanupal is a stainless steel pipe because of the um, output that is going that way. Now the top has CO2 set for it. Uh, I'll show you in here what the actual output is. So you get titanium tetrachloride, which is going down, and CO2 gas, which is going up. Now, I have all of my CO2 gas going to one electrolyzer. I'll show you out here, which is why I don't have the carbon on a closed loop. But you could easily set one of these up next to your titanium setup. 
and then it would become a closed loop as well because you get three CO2 gas out, which in turn turns into one carbon and two oxygen in the electrolyzer, and it's one carbon per rutile per operation. So you can do that as a closed loop if you so choose. But I just have that electrolyzer doing all of my CO2 gas, which is hooked up to a tank up above that collects it and lets it run whenever it needs to. Okay, so that is the main machine here. LV motor on the bottom to make it run. And the calcite I am getting from this smelter here, which I just throw limestone dust in. I just have a chest up here that I keep full of limestone dust, limestone blocks, whatever. And that makes the calcite for this system and for my uh, fluidized bed uh, burning box outside. So that is the first step. Get your calcite in and get that setup done. Then the next setup that goes with it is this one here with this smelter and this electrolyzer. And this is for dealing with the... Um, Oh, wait a minute. I guess that's the third setup. Hold on. Let me go to the basement. This is not very... Um, area... Uh, it's not very compact. Put it that way. But this is the way I typically like to have it. So, coming down through this pipe here, going into here, is the uh, titanium tetrachloride, which mixes with the magnesium, which is what I choose to do for this system. I prefer it, and I will explain why in a second. If you put that into the bath with titanium tetrachloride, you get a titanium dust and six magnesium chloride out. Now, magnesium chloride will go into the other system that I was showing you over there. Which goes into the smelter and makes molten magnesium chloride. Which then goes into the electrolyzer and gives you your magnesium and your chlorine. So this chlorine is lossless and goes right back into the original burning mixer. Now... The reason why I use magnesium versus sodium, which you can use, is because with sodium you get salt. And the salt then has to be put into an electrolyzer with water to get the chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and sodium hydroxide out. And then you would have to get the sodium out of the sodium hydroxide in another electrolyzer giving you oxygen and hydrogen. So I prefer to just use magnesium, put it in the smelter, electrolyzer, and be done with it. No extra water needed in that case. So I have the titanium tetrachloride coming down, the magnesium is coming in through this side, and the magnesium chloride is going out through that side. Now, the titanium is also coming out that side. So, but I have this going up there so that the magnesium chloride that comes out will be going into this machine right here. There's an item filter here that will only allow the magnesium chloride to go in. And then, as I said, that gets liquidized 
comes in here and turns into chlorine and magnesium. The magnesium goes down, goes back over to the bath. The chlorine runs through that pipe up and right back into this machine so it never stops running. So now if I put the rutile in, you'll hear the igniter go. This is why it needs a pulse because it will probably pulse go every time it tries to start again. But there you go, it is running. Um, I did forget to tell you, it's got the automatic machine switch on the front, uh, which keeps it from running. Actually, I guess it's technically not on the front. I think it's on the side. Um, but it's basically one of these right here. Automatic machine switch that just turns it on and off. Whenever it doesn't have a recipe, it can run. But now if we come down here, you'll see that this machine is running with titanium tetrachloride already in it. The burning mixer upstairs does run faster than the bath. So if you want this to be um, faster, you would either have to use the large um, bath array that we just did a multi-block build on the other day or make you know three or four baths to connect but you'll see here in a second that this will get done and the titanium and the magnesium chloride automatically goes out I also have right here a item filter that will only let the titanium go through into my main pipe so the titanium will go over to my wall of elements over there and then if we come back up here you'll see that this is running my molten magnesium chloride as it comes in and everything's going out there and occasionally you'll see one pop in here and get melted down. So that is my titanium setup for running Rutile down to titanium. Um, I do not do uh, Illuminant for anybody that's uh, wondering about what I do with Illuminant. I actually have it going through a green vitriol bath with sulfuric acid which will give you one root tile and six green vitriol with water. And then I can just run the root tile through that one machine. Can run uh, Illuminant through it, but it changes the outputs. And I didn't want to set up two of those, one for each. So I just chose to put the Illuminant down there with the sulfuric bathing. So I hope that helps. If anybody has any questions on this setup, let me know in the comments and I will gladly uh, answer them or on my Discord. And with that, I will bid you all adieu for today. Have a good one.